to do all of this. Not all of it. Hey guys, it's um, Foodie Friday. Um, I'm here with the lovely Andrea. All right, so we, we, we were hungry. She wanted to get Chipotle, and I was like, no, not <laughs> Chipotle. And I just like spewed off a couple taco places, and we decided that we're gonna go to all of them. And then we're gonna see uh, which is better, right? Yep, let's do it. Right, but uh, so yeah, so shout out to Jose, you know, uh, my Mexican friend, because he gave us some <laughs> tips on the criteria we should be using. Um, criteria, criterion, criterion, criterion. Yeah, criteria. It's like, it didn't sound right. Right, the criterion that we should be using for judging these things. One of the things he says is that he doesn't like um, tortillas that fall apart. That's essential. Right. Very important. And um, I know we're probably gonna end up going with corn tortilla. Right, to keep it authentic, but it's not about authenticity because just because you're original doesn't mean you're the best. It's about does it taste good or not. Flavor, flavor. Hey. <laughs> She's gonna have to get used to the camera, right? All right, so our first place is District Taco. I know it's a franchise, but whatever. We ain't got that many places in the DMV. Um, to have authentic top places, uh, but maybe we'll find like a food truck or something. El Rey, King, El Rey. Is that how you say it? El Rey. El Rey. <laughs> El Rey. Monarca, el esposo de la reina. Lotería bilingüe. Monarca es el esposo de la reina. Muy bien. What the? She said with the accent and everything. Hold on. <laughs> Marorca a la esposa de la reina. 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 <laughs> reina. All right, she's the closest to Mexican I can find. Okay, wait. Cilantro. And I put some jalapenos because you know. Yeah, jalapeno business, <laughs> you know. <laughs> We're judging it by. Uh, by flavor, okay. um, spiciness. Well, spicy is a good thing, right? Oh yeah. Okay. Um, and if it falls apart, then it's a good sign. <laughs> it's a good sign. I thought that was the chips. <laughs> no. That's what the tea is. It's a good sign because then it's like because it's fully loaded. Okay. All right. Let's see what you got. Mm. Tasty. The steak is good, but. Doesn't taste as fresh. So I don't know. But good flavor. The hot sauce helps. If I got a flour tortilla, I think a lot of people would be bitching and moaning. So I have to get the corn tortilla. It's already kind of flaking apart. Um, Jose was saying, like, you know, they always flake apart, fall apart, but you say because mine is bigger, that <laughs> fully loaded, alright? You know what? My, my first reaction. Is this corn is hella dry, <laughs> hella dry, flavorless. Um, but that kind of goes with the chorizo as well. I mean, I'm not completely impressed. Look at this. I don't. I feel like it's almost like the bottom of the barrel. Right, like it's been sitting there for a while. No one's ordered it. I've had better tasting chorizo in my mouth. So you know what, like, I'll be honest, I've actually had uh, district taco before, but today was a little disappointing for me because the chorizo was hella dry, and um, it was, it was okay. Eh. It was aight. Eh. It was aight. One to ten? How do you rate it? I don't know if I should do a ten scale. No? One to five? Let's do a five scale. Alright. I will give that like a three. Really? Overall, overall, I would give it a three. Alright, what are your thoughts? Eh. Mine was also dry. Not as flavorful as I would want it to be. Although the sauce gave it a nice little kick to it. So my rating would be, uh, yeah, I would say three. Three? Yeah, let's, yeah, average. All right, so some of the cons, I would say the tortilla, dry and flavorless. I would say the other con, chorizo also dry <laughs> and flavorless. I think the pros, I think the true, it was, it was a lot of it. Volume-wise, it was good. Uh, I think the other pro about this place is that they have all these different types of sauces that you can choose uh, to cover up the fact that it's hella dry. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> and so, flavorless. Yeah, so if you need to lubricate your meat, you can do that at the uh, salsa bar. <laughs> no? Okay, I'll edit that out. <laughs> but, um, and uh, what are your pros and cons? Pros, um, I love the salsas here. They're spicy, they're, the flavor is very good um, and hot. Um, the cons, yeah, the steak wasn't even hot. It was not flavorful. Um, the tortilla was also dry. So it was, eh, it was all right. It was all right. So the consensus is, it was, it was all right. It was all right. It was all right. <laughs> all right, we gotta go to um, the second place. make tortillas in Guatemala? Yeah, yeah. All right, so it's called a comal. So what they do is you have literally everyone torteando and they put it on the comal, but they use wood, which makes it even more flavorful. Yeah. Oh, carne, carne carne sana. Thank you. Gracias. Mm -hmm. Heck, you telling us? Um, and that's it, I mean, and they make like, a crap ton of tortillas in like seconds. Oh. It's pretty amazing. I learned how to actually because my grandma taught me. Oh, I okay. got the al pastor. It's with pork. Big pork with what pineapple. Pork with pineapple. Now is that is that okay? Oh, it's delicious. All right. Okay. You smell like pizza with pineapple for like now. Oh, I love pizza, pizza with uh, ham and pineapple. Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. <laughs> All right. So I got the carne asada. Now the first thing. Okay. So the difference I noticed. Immediately, the uh, the size difference. Yeah. Right. So this is a lot smaller uh, than what we saw at district, but um, it looks better. The meat is already a lot more tender um, than district, and um, yeah. Yeah, it tastes much better. It's not dry. Yeah. So oh, much better. So this is actually your first time here. It is actually, yeah. Yeah, so first time. Very good. Very, Very good. fresh. Flavorful. Authentic. Okay. It's noticeably smaller. The volume is not as much. Much better. Yeah? Yeah. It's a lot better. Oh yeah. This is the tortilla actually has flavor in it and it's a lot better, it tastes much fresher. And as a matter of fact, we just saw it like actually getting made in front of us. Yeah, so they're literally making it in front of us and then we're eating it, so hats off to them. All right, so this place gets a four out of five for me. Oh. I would actually give it a five. It was more. <laughs> Would you give it pretty much the same? I give it a 4.5 because that's good music. <laughs> oh man, I just realized I probably have to cut that out. <laughs> oh, well, I figured out. Uh, but yeah, it has music. I'll just play it's, the song and go. Yeah, the place is a lot smaller, but the food is a lot um, better. All right, we'll be heading out to the next place pretty soon. Final place, this is at Taco Bamba. This place is the Bamba. Um, well, we don't know that yet because we haven't eaten it. Um, but it's really, it's, it's a nice little hole in one place. It's always busy. Uh, the people behind the counter are always running their ass off. Um, so I got the, uh, the pork, the um, fried pork. What did you get? Taco Bamba. Oh, this is the Taco Bamba. Yeah. What does that have? It has, good question. It has steak, uh, guacamole, Chorizo, chicharrones, red onions, and I think that's it. I don't know. What the fuck? Uh, why didn't I get that? That's not hella good. <laughs> like, uh, it's hot. Look, it's hot in here. That's why I'm sweating. It's not because of the salsa. Um, but yo, hey, so we were gonna go for taco, but this place has this. The corn. What is it called? House fried chipotle mustard chicharron. No, it's not it. Look. <laughs> Look at that. Alright, you ready? I am. Yeah, ready? Yep. 
It's super fresh. It's hot as hell. Um, the tortilla is staying in place, which is good. It's holding all the stuff in. In terms of volume, it doesn't even matter because the quality of the meat is so much better. Oh god, that's definitely the bomba. Right. The pork alone is hella good. Right, it's got a crispy outer shell, um, but it's soft, braised on the inside. I, I can't even describe it. It's so good. So good. So you mix all the other flavors. So I'm like, holy shit, this is why they call it Taco Bamba. It's the Bamba, right? What's, what's on this corn? It has cheese. Um, some type of like spicy mix. Um, I think that's it, really. Mayo? No, I don't, I don't taste the mayo. I don't know, maybe butter? I don't know. Really good. Well, I think that was it. Though we, I guess we saved the best for last because we sure um, did. Yeah, so we have Taco Bamba as the undisputed winner of this. Oh, yeah. So we have Taco Bamba as the undisputed winner of this taco challenge. What are your thoughts? Final thoughts? Oh, this was beyond everything that I could expect. So. I would give this one the big win. Yes. Yeah. So talk about what it is. Check it out. I'll uh, put a link in the description for all where you can find all these different places where we went to in the DMV area. And now we're gonna go get some wine. We have time for wine. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna get some wine and chill with Coco. <laughs> hmm. So we have some videotape evidence that Coco was this small. Oh. At one point. Mm. Stay like this forever, Coco. Stay tiny. Had Mexican, now we're gonna go eat Asian food. Sorry, Coco. <laughs> that was a joke, that was a bad, that was a bad <laughs> joke. All right, let us know if um, uh, our rating system was good enough, or if you have any um, questions, concern about, no, write in the comments what your thoughts are about these places, or if you think there are some other taco places that we need to try. Um, yes. It's not gonna be Taco Bell, mm. um, but yeah, let us know, or if there's any other food ideas that we should go try. Right? Yes. Coke. Coco agrees. Anything else? Say hi, Coco. Coco. <laughs> she loves getting kisses. This is Coco. We're making a movie. It's not even Connection. <gasps> Coco. Coco, do you want to be in Connection the movie? Connectionthemovie.com? That's a yes. <laughs> That's a yes. Yes. <laughs> Coco. <laughs>